Hello and welcome back to the official map guide series. Ever wondered where to go on a map to help your team win? Well, here's how. Today we'll cover Prokhorovka in the standard battle mode. Prokhorovka is an extremely open map that can be characterized by having a lot of ditches here on the western part of the map together with a large and dominant ridge line. Also notable is the extremely long bush line on the two line here together with some hills in the eastern part of the map as well as a small little village here. Roughly and very generally speaking you can divide Prokhorovka in four parts. Basically you can divide it going north to south by the rails but you can also draw a horizontal line just along this way that sort of mirrors the map. Now for the tanks that will have a very big say in how the battle turns out, light tanks. First of all, the bush line here on the two line can be used very very well for extensive amounts of passive spotting and even slowly advancing there to take quadrant after quadrant from the enemy team. Also it should be noted that the bushes in E and F1 can be used very very well to spot even further into that bush line and get light onto those enemy tanks even sooner, getting up to 10, 12 or even 15,000 spotting in the higher tiers. Then in the middle of the map you have this very dominant ridge line here which you can even try to surf with light tanks. While doing that you'll be able to get spots in the entire area north and south of it. But you need to be very careful not to get hit from the 1 and 2 line because there are bound to be snipers there. Also, you can try to go into the village to get spots onto the tanks that are trying to approach on towards the 0 line and you can even maybe get information onto their rotations. Medium tanks will naturally feel right at home on Prokhorovka. Tanks with a sturdy turret can go towards the middle of the map from which they'll have a lot of shots basically towards the entirety of the map. But remember, if you can shoot the enemy, they can shoot at you. If you have more specialized medium tanks, maybe sniper or support roles, you can also go towards the outside positions from which you'll be able to punish the aforementioned tanks in the middle. On the one line you will find very very good sniping opportunities from both C1 and H1. And even if you get pushed back from there by a pesky scout working that bush line, you can go to A1, A3, K1 and even K3 to keep putting up resistance there. Hopefully the enemy LT will get spotted and you can eliminate them. Also, on the other side, you can try to put up resistance in this area or this area, depending on which side of the map you have spawned. By the way, be careful not to get blind shotted in a bush that is too obvious. Sometimes it's better to play beside a bush instead of in it, if you can't get spotted anyway. If you've spawned in a fast heavy tank, there isn't a lot of artillery and you have a lot of turret armor, then you can do what's called a power move and go into that ditch in EF2. Not only will you severely limit the enemy light tanks from spotting the 1 and 2 line, you'll also take a lot of map control away from the enemy. Should that not quite be your cup of tea, you can also try working that ridge line in the middle and support your team all over the map from there, or you can make your way towards the eastern part of the map where you can try to contest the hill and also try to damage the tanks that are in the middle. Tank destroyers will most likely want to sit back in one of the aforementioned sniper spots to support their team as they are trying to provide those crucial spots. Please be careful that you always have render distance onto the enemy tanks that get spotted because your allies might not be able to keep that up for long. Sniping onto rich surfing light tanks is one of the most difficult but at the same time most satisfying things you can do in a tank destroyer on Prokhorovka. Artillery will most likely want to set up at the western part of the map 
as the battle starts. As the battle progresses, more positions might become available. If your team manages to push out or establish control in the east, the rails might become a good idea, or you can even move further to generate additional angles on towards the enemy tanks. And while the area of movement for tanks ends with the red line, the area for shells does not. So if you've got some HE loaded and you want to be cheeky, you can fell some trees just outside the map at C1 and H1 to generate some additional cover. Also, there are some really, really cheeky spotting positions from which you can either spot the south rotation here if you're spawned from the north, or you can perma spot the people that are playing on the entrance towards the hill if you're spawned from the south. That is all you need to know for today about Prokhorovka commanders. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to not miss future map guides. Now go out there and get that LT15 done. Roll out.